In the wake of recent shootings, the topic of gun control has come to the forefront. We asked various Oakland students for their opinion on this topic. I'm standing here with Michael Estes, and uh, we just want to know, what are your opinions on gun control? You know, I come from a family, or I come from a dad at least, who owns several guns, and I've been shooting uh, handguns since I was about 14 years old. I have quite a bit of experience in them. Even even uh, without without taking into account this most recent event, which has happened, my uh, opinions on gun control and handgun ownership in the United States have always been uh, have always been geared towards the negative side. I'm not a fan of them. Uh, I enjoy shooting handguns, but if it managed to save any lives, I would definitely give up the handguns. That I I don't personally own any handguns, uh, but if I did have handguns, I would I would give them up to save lives. Uh, quite frankly, especially with the Aurora event and now the uh, the uh, the, yeah, well, the name escapes me, but yes, with, with the remote, two most recent events, it's just it's getting more and more ridiculous. I have a blog post on the internet, which I wrote extensively about it. Uh, I looked at statistics from Canada, countries like Canada and Australia, who don't allow, don't permit handgun ownership by their uh, citizens. And when you take into account those statistics, the uh, difference between our country and those countries is drastic. It's it's just unbelievable how much of a problem we have. So, what steps would you want to take then? Quite frankly, uh, what I think uh, what Australia did was uh, it was extremely good. What they did, their program was to uh, buy back handguns, offer to pay people money for their handguns, offer to pay people a decent price for the handguns. If they accept that money, then that, that's good. If they don't accept that money, then uh, take their handguns away. That's just take them away completely. So either you give them back and they you're paid, or you just have it taken away from you completely. That's yeah. That's exactly my idea. So you would forfeit the right to own a gun completely? Absolutely. I mean, if you look at the Constitution, granted, the Second Amendment is in the Constitution. However, if you look, the 18th Amendment was originally prohibition, right? It lasted for, what, a couple of years before it was revoked because obviously there was a problem with it. Now we have a problem with handguns. There's no doubt about it. Uh, if, if, if we revoke the Second Amendment and don't allow handgun ownership in the United States anymore, I think it's going to solve a lot of problems that we're having. Standing here Thanks with much. Christian Thomas, and what are your thoughts on gun control? Uh, my thoughts on gun control is, of course, if you're a responsible adult, we all have the right to bear arms, uh, uh, the law. But some people, it should be a little difficult for some people to uh, actually get their hands on a gun. They should make it more difficult. Uh, they should have to pass a test or an exam in order to get a gun and carry a gun. That's what I think. And so when you say some people, like what, what kinds of people are we talking about? Civilians, they should have to uh, pass an exam, a real exam, more than just a two-hour class before they can carry guns. And would you be okay with them owning handguns as well as assault rifles and any sort of weapon, or would you limit it to only a certain kind of fire? The bigger the better. Whatever kind of gun you want, you know, it's just as long as you're going to be responsible, responsible adults, not go shoot everybody. I'm standing here with Nathan Showalter today, and I'm just wondering, uh, what are your thoughts on gun control? Um, well, I mean, I believe that um, uh, guns are like a right, you know, they're in the Constitution, Second Amendment. Um, I do think that there should be some kind of, I guess, more regulation than there is right now, like maybe background checks or something. Something should be changed, I think, because of like all the tragedies that have been having recent, happening recently. But um, ultimately, they should not be just completely gotten rid of or anything. It should be a right, but yeah. You would have like a background check, and what would that check look for? Um, just I don't know if they have like a criminal record or um, anything like that. Just. All right, I'm here with Walter Lasher today, and we're just wondering what are your opinions on gun control? Um, personally, I believe that gun control should not be very strict at all. Um, I believe if you know, well, most uh, I guess armed robberies and assaults come from an unregistered or illegally acquired weapon. I believe if the general populace has better access to weapons to defend themselves with, crime rates will go down. Sweden is a good example of this, where it, by law an assault rifle is required to be in every household. They have the lo lowest homicide rate in the world. So I think that's a good example. Um, that's my personal standpoint on it. Less gun control is better. And, yeah, that's about all. I'm here with Shana Stam, and we're just wondering, what are your thoughts on gun control? Uh, I think that gun control is a very relevant issue to the, shooting, the shootings that we've had recently. Um, and I don't think that passing more laws is the solution because clearly the people who misuse guns aren't, use, like, aren't getting them in it the lawful way anyways. Um, and people who are lawful shouldn't have their rights taken away from them. 
So you think it's the, the, the people that are using the guns in the first place, if you pass new laws, it wouldn't do anything because they're, they wouldn't obey them anyway? Right. These people are criminals. Criminals, I mean, like the very definition is someone who breaks the law. So creating more gun laws is just something else for them to break. They don't care. Thank you very much. That's perfect. Thank you. I'm Timothy Bonser. This is the Oakland Post. Thank you.